Hey guys, happy Saturday. I'm at the studio at college because I'm gonna film a little Saturday workout and stretch routine for a dancer sort of vibe. It's gonna be super chill because I have not done a workout in about a month, apart from obviously what I do in class. I haven't done my own workout in ages. So it's gonna be super chill, just like sort of easing back into it. Also I have an injury, so it's not gonna be impactful at all. And it's gonna be sort of like catered around my injury. All the exercises you don't really like need equipment. I just did a little bit of cardio in the gym and then everything else is just like, you can sort of just do anywhere. I'm gonna be using a resistance band and like a ball. This isn't even really what I usually do. I had like a workout routine about a month ago, which was so different. And then I sort of like lost motivation and then now it's like really different because I feel like I've just learned a little bit about my body recently. A lot of what I used to do was just like an ab workout and stuff, but then I felt like I wasn't engaging the proper, the correct muscles, if that makes sense. So this is a lot more Pilates based, but it's gonna be super chill. Like it's not gonna be very intense. It's just gonna be like sort of a general full body-ish. Like I'm gonna do a little bit of abs and then like glutes and hamstrings and then a bit of arms and then I'm gonna do a massive stretch at the end. I hope you enjoy. First thing I did was I did a little bit of cardio on the treadmill. I just did a 10 minute walk today just because I was easing back into it. I have an Achilles injury at the minute so I'm not jumping or running or basically any impact. So that's why I just walked and I had it on incline 15 and the speed was 5 and I did this for 10 minutes. Next I did one of my physio exercises which is where I take a resistance band and I put it around individual toes it looks really weird but yeah it's basically to strengthen your fhl tendon which is the tendon that connects your big toe to your achilles i think so i do 15 reps and i do it where the resistance band is wrapped around my big toe then i do it where it's wrapped around my th middle three toes and then i do it where it's wrapped around my pinky toe and the whole point is to keep all the other toes still and on the ground so you don't move them. So you're just, you're isolating that, that individual pinky. Yeah, it's actually really difficult. Like this is a really good metatarsal strengthening exercise for all of your demi point. A good one for a dancer. I then roll out my foot on and my Achilles, my calf, anything that's sort of tight with this hard ball. Um, it's lovely. Oh, look at this studio space. I'm just going to follow like a 10 minute ab workout on YouTube. This is the ab workout that I'm going to do with MadFit 10 minute killer core. It's really good. Like I have exercises that I know that I want to start doing which are a lot more like Pilates based but I haven't got a proper routine and I just feel a little bit lost because I've not done a workout in a while so I think it'll just be nice just to follow this one for today. Follow to me, notice I'm not dropping my crunch, bringing elbow to knee, back down to center, then you're gonna reach finger to toes, back down, same leg. Legs down in a wide position and bring them back. Extend back in. So as I'm extending, I'm keep the legs bent. Chest open. Around one. And we're going to start all of that from the top once again. Next, I'm going to do some press-ups just to do a little bit of arms. I did 30 tricep push-ups on my toes. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I way prefer tricep push-ups than, I don't know what they're called, chest press-ups, the one, the one where your elbows go out. Um, so I did 30 triceps and then 10, the ones where your elbows go out. I'm so lucky because I still get to like dance. I just did the card and chill. Do you know what I mean? Like this is. As I was saying, I'm so lucky. Yeah, literally. Okay, this next one I'm doing glute bridges. So when you go up, you don't want to flare your ribs. You want to keep them closed so that you're only going to the height of the bridge 
with your ribs closed because as soon as you like open your ribs then like you go into your lower back and your back extensor extensors your back extensors is what's doing all the work basically and your glutes aren't actually engaged and neither are your abs so when you keep your ribs closed and you only go to the height where your like glutes are engaged then you're basically you're not engaging your back um so yeah it should not hurt your back if you're doing a glute bridge then you're going to take one leg off at a time just to this will really help with your stability because glute bridges are actually really difficult for stability and you're going to take one leg off at a time and take it to 90 degrees and you're just going to really like slow and controlled take it back and replace the foot and do this with the other foot i do like three sets of 10 reps next one is another one for your glutes basically i have a resistance run wrapped around my foot the leg the resistance band is wrapped around my glute is engaged because i'm like pulling away from the resistance band if that makes sense then with the other leg you're gonna take out and do like sort of donkey kicks with like straight legs but you're not gonna arch your back so you're not gonna like let your back move because again as soon as you do that then your back's taking it all so you want to keep your torso quite still you're sort of like kicking your leg as high as you can where your glutes engage without letting your back go do three sets of 10 reps on each leg next i'm lying on my side with the resistance band wrapped around my knees i'm going to open my knee into a clamp and then i'm going to straighten that leg out and you want to keep it parallel and you're basically just taking it up and down and you really want to think about the side of your glute being engaged rather than inside thigh or your thigh or like the outside of your thigh you want it to be all in your glute you want to keep your hips aligned and on top of each other you want you, you want to take your leg up and down really controlled doing this on both legs and three sets of 10 reps again the last exercise from like muscle strength thing that i did was calf raises i have an achilles injury so usually i would hold like a 10 kilogram weight i would have a resistance band around my ankle to keep the alignment basically but that's only because i'm injured so it's not necessary if you're not injured three sets of 15 reps you want it to be really slow and controlled so that's what i'm going to do today in terms of um strengthening i'm gonna do a big old stretch now i just started by putting some music on and sort of breathing in and out and folding over into a hamstring stretch just sort of take it as it goes like depending on how sore or tight you are but i sort of just move around in all of these stretches just because i don't like to be static in any in any stretches Next, I'm going into some side stretches. I don't know why, but I actually love doing side oblique stretches. I literally think they feel amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm like just really lengthening out of my top hand and like lengthen my spine before I then go over. I really like making it all connected. So like going from one side, bending forward into a contraction to then go up the next side. Then again, with my legs open, I'm just folding over my hamstrings to get a hamstring stretch and then also just to get a bit of mobility in my knees and my ankles and my hips by moving side to side, letting your arms just swing, let your head be heavy. And then I'm going into a hip stretch. This just feels good, opens your hips ready for any other movement. Then I'm gonna go into my right leg lunge. I was a bit too far away from the camera, so I did a little roll. <laughs> taking my arms up and over into a back release and then going up into a hamstring stretch and again I just move around like literally whatever feels good I bend my back foot I go onto a rise I literally just whatever I like to move my body around whatever feels good but basically just ham stretching the hamstring I go back from like lunge to hamstring lunge to hamstring just to keep it moving I'm going into a quad stretch so I'm just grabbing the back foot in a lunge and pushing my hips into the floor and then I'm going into a side lunge and switching over to the other side. I'm doing all of that on the same side, on the left. And depending on whether my left is more or less sore or tight or whatever, generally my left is less flexible than my right. So I spend a little bit more time here to like warm it up and feel loose. I'm going into a straddle, lengthening my legs, and then I'm going up and over with a side stretch and then I'm going forward down to it. So like my nose to my knee. Then I'm going over into box and just moving around here to get a little bit more mobile. Then I'm gonna do some over splits with these blocks. 
have not done this in the longest time and honestly did not enjoy it massively <laughs> my hamstrings did not feel great i don't think i was like fully fully warm because i sort of kept stopping and starting so i think if you want to do over splits like be super warm when you do it um but yeah i was just doing it with one block and then i did it on two two blocks but just take it however you feel like if you don't feel super warm and loose then maybe don't do this just because you can injure yourself and it's not worth it and then in box i just put one under each ankle and then let gravity like take my hips down to get that more loose and then oh, once you've done over splits on blocks your normal splits feel so good and then i just did a nice back cobra stretch and into a child's pose and then i was all finished that is the workout and stretch that i did this saturday i hope you enjoyed thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye